I'm at the one and only Sergeant Splatters in Toronto to get a little paintball on because game focus is in the zone. The kill zone. What are we doing here today? We're taking a look at Kill Zone 3, that's what we're doing. But why are we at Sergeant Splatters? Uh, guns. Lots of guns, uh, weaponry. Uh, Kill Zone 3 has it, Sergeant Splatters does. Seems to fit, goes hand in hand. It does. <laughs> okay, so tell me, let's talk about the game, what's happening in Kill Zone 3. Do we pick up right where we left off in Kill Zone 2? We pick up right where we left off. So we're trying to pump the story, we're trying to pump the variety within our game, uh, the levels in how they look. And what's happening with the Hellgas themselves? There's a civil war going on, isn't there? There is. We've got a political power struggle with the Hellgas leaders right now. So that's one of the big changes is that there, there are two men fighting for supremacy. And you, as the player, you want to get off that planet. So that's kind of your mission the whole time is to get out of there while this political struggle unravels around you. We've got a, a fully blown up multiplayer component. We've got a split screen co-op option. We've got the move that we have 3D. So we're trying to pack as much variety as we can into this experience. We'll talk about multiplayer then. Let's go into online play. Absolutely. So something that we've done is uh, try to listen to the people. We don't want to change the experience from what the people like from the previous versions. We want to enhance it and improve it. So that's something that we do. We, you know, we do read through the forums. There's a lot of people that, uh, that post a lot of uh, extremely valuable comments. So we want to listen to people. They have a voice. We listen. And I think you'll see it in the product. I think you'll see some incredible new weapons in this game. Well, what, what, are, the, what are the names of the new weapons? Like, give me some juice. Uh, okay, let's start with there's a nuclear petrocyte gun that, um, well, let's just say that if I target you, shoot you, you're going to be liquefied into a green goo. So that's something that uh, it's extremely powerful and I think that people have a lot of fun using. So the 3D experience is obviously something that, uh, that we've incorporated, that we've tailored. We haven't just added it on, we've made sure that the experience um, enhances the 3D. We, we make sure that it's a visceral experience where the player um, has rockets flying by their head, the vehicle experiences, they all kind of go hand in hand with uh, the backgrounds going by you. And it just, it immerses you with the weapons and how you handle the weapons and just the way that they look. So the 3D is something that we've taken a lot of pride with and that we've taken very seriously. Let's talk about the sharpshooter. We wanted to make it as natural as possible. We wanted to make sure that it felt good, that the button mapping was correct. So we spent a lot of time designing something that we felt the players would feel comfortable using. Perhaps you're targeting maybe an audience that wouldn't be as good with first-person shooters like me? Maybe. <laughs> yes, for sure. We're trying to open, uh, I think, a few more doors, tear down some walls, uh, let people who may be um, a little bit nervous or scared about a dual shock controller and playing an FPS. So just tear down those walls. We want people to play it. We want everybody to play it. And I think that that's something that the move will certainly do. Well, that's it, gamers. Kills on three drops the 22nd of this month. Make sure you check it out. It looks amazing. But for right now, me and my new Hellgas friend, we're going to go shoot some paintball. What? What's that? He just told me that a Hellgan belongs to the Hellgast.